there's a lot of talk these days about diabetes and pre-diabetes and what you want to think about and learn about is the spectrum of diabetes. You know, there are all different presentations uh, for an elevated blood sugar, which is essentially what we're talking about when we're talking about uh, diabetes mellitus, is we're talking about an excessive blood sugar, which makes you urinate a lot. So the earliest symptoms of having diabetes is you have frequent voluminous urination. And you want to put it to an added test they've been doing for a couple thousand years is they would bring in a few ants, you know, little ants that walk across the ground, little ants. They are attracted to a diabetic's urine. Why? Because they're looking for sugar. So that's the way it was originally diagnosed was uh, diabetes mellitus by the attraction of, uh, of the person's urine to various insects that like sugar. Most of the time what happens with uh, various types of diabetes is you don't, you don't really have any symptoms at all in the beginning. In the more dramatic, acute, inflammatory, dangerous kind of diabetes, which is called type one diabetes, you have an attack on the pancreas. Now that may start out with some, some viral infections. Some people talk about viral infections doing this, but I think it's more subtle than that in most cases. I think it's due to the food rather than a virus that destroys the pancreas. In this case, the child may appear to be normal one day and just the next day or a few days after it, the child is urinating a lot, losing a lot of weight, losing appetite, not, not thriving to say the least. And you take the child, it doesn't have to be a child, it could be an adult. You take the person to the doctor and a simple blood sugar test or even a urine test for sugar will make the diagnosis. And in this case, we're talking about type one diabetes where the pancreas doesn't make enough insulin. So you've gone from a state where you're having fun with your classmates in school and the next day you're in the hospital under an emergency care to get well, to get on insulin, because you have to be on insulin the rest of your life if you're a type 1 diabetic. Type 2 diabetics, what would you notice? Well, you'll find sugar in your urine and an elevated blood sugar test on your blood test. You could do that, but most of you won't. What do you going to notice physically that it goes on? Well, I think the best indication is whether you are at risk of type 2 diabetes. It's just how, how overweight you are. How much excess body fat do you have? Because for every pound of body fat, your risk of having type 2 diabetes increases. And of course, people are so overweight weight in developed countries like the United States and now even China and India, that somewhere around 12 to 14 percent of the population is frankly diabetic. In other words, they're diagnosed having diabetes and put on medication, 12 to say 14, 15 percent. Yet half the population in the United States, India, and Asia is what we call pre-diabetic. They are likely to eventually develop full-blown diabetes and their blood sugars are not considered normal or ideal at the present time. Let me give you some numbers. Above 126 milligrams per deciliter is considered diabetes. It's just a, somebody made it up. It's just a definition. Above 126. And uh, say between 100 and 126, we're, we're going to call that pre diabetes. And below 100, or maybe we'll make it 90, or maybe we'll make it 70. You, you know, you're making the definition. So it's up to you, whatever you want to uh, pick the numbers, you want to define it. So say you, you decide that it's below 100, you're normal. 100 to 126, you are pre and above 26. 126, you're frankly diabetic. Diabetic. You do the same thing with hemoglobin A1C these days. You can make up various numbers and I'll just make up some for you. Let's just say above one point or above 6.5%, you're diabetic. Below 6%, you're normal. Somewhere between 6% and 6.5%, you're pre-diabetic. But again, you, you can change the numbers in one direction or another to fit these terms. It's up to you. It's just a guess. I would say in most cases, except for noticing that you're becoming overweight or maybe even obese, you don't have any particular signs of type 2 diabetes. You may notice some frequent urination. You got to get to the point where you're severely diabetic before you'll notice weight loss, which I know you desire. I know you're looking for that. And also the frequent urination, excessive thirst really become a problem as people get into the higher sugar levels.